Hey, hey guys. guys, what's up? It's Anina. Celias. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about something. I actually got a request. I got a comment. One of the girls, she asked, she said, can you please talk about your experiences being a diaspora, the good, the bad, the ugly? So I thought that would be a pretty good yeah. video to do since we have different experiences. We're just going to chill, have a discussion. You guys can comment down below as well. I'm going to eat because I haven't eaten all day. Actually, she is not the only person asking this question a lot of people request to do this video maybe you didn't read it because it was in amharic so she didn't read it that's why and i didn't tell her yeah what so, do you get right okay i'm eating leftovers guys <laughs> injera gomen light you have shiro this was a veggie combo and the leftovers of it you got in amharic mr kuk fosolia oh this is fosolia this is fosolia yeah mm -hmm. right here is gomen uh, right here is gajay but there is no <laughs> <laughs> I, I ate all of them. So for those people that they don't know what diaspora is, why don't you tell them what diaspora means? I didn't even know what that meant, to be honest. I was really? Like, what? Yeah, I was like, what? A lot of people know dias about diaspora. Diaspora is the know. people living out of the country. For example, if you are from Ethiopia and you are living out of the country, like any countries, you are becoming a diaspora. Yeah, I have a question for you. Mm. When you Google like diaspora, like the first thing that comes up is was like something about Jews, like the Jews that yeah. dispersed. Really? Does that where the word came from? I don't know. I have no idea. So would that include people like me then? Because I was actually born in the U.S. Am I a diaspora? I don't think so. You're, you're not a diaspora. If I go back to my country, I'm not diaspora. I have no any really <laughs> idea because you born I'm and trying raised. to like, I don't know why I'm trying to be diaspora. Yeah, you born and raised here. So I don't think you are considering diaspora. So my parents are diaspora, basically. You your parents is diaspora okay. for the Sudanese people. Yeah. Even though I'm not a diaspora, I'm going to speak in the experiences of just being born and raised abroad. I'm going to wash my hands. You talk to the people. Yeah. Bagaracha, I don't know what I mean or Bassam Bicha, America, Slatavala Bicha, it shall and again, the Miagin, you are going to go in Yasu Ward. With that, it shall he what it shall a Sarah, it shall a better Savia Lachosa, which is the Matova Chinkust Migabu, but I'm Busso Charluna, Mila Marat Feligeno, it shall he what corner Mininoro, Agarachilai, Zaubin the Karishalal. Magnatum is the Kamatambola, yet a Yara Mustan of Menegabo, Kazero no Mitjemero, Zagar Hale, half the Salanda, Zima half time to another Maratara. Sally Aser and Ham Yelemberum can be no, Kaza Yaslakun is in or a little bit, Mendino Turgumu, Zomeno Raishad. Look at this image, yet a year Alamust no Miga Wutena, oh, Nequita Shalay with Nabaraniza, as I took a lak Akatama that said, Zilla Hiwatna, Lazi Hulem Okuna, Tibet Matra Kalabish and Tibet Targala, Sam Matab Kalabisanta, while Zahaftam Salon Kunizi, Tamolaki Enora Lony, Malatat Shedam, Gratum Zagarust and Adlaho, Lamon or Domas Ratab, Yalun Sroch and Betakla Latasara Lamalet, no Nabuzuki is a watch, but I'm sit Kayalon. Siga Wundom Dragus Siga with Hacha, like Macnat Metalaya, he was to stun me, Matosa, Sanat or Mac, Agarolai, Lips Atoya Mac, Zisimata, Idena Garabak, I'm a Madrag and Dalla, but Greg Walena, Lilana Gorsiga, or depressed Dion Adlu, Mendeno Mumacro, it a shadow he would have latches a watch, Agarbeta Lu, it shall a life he had latches a watch, Agarbetus, as though successful beyond Isha, the Visaru, below what he shall a ladder. I read them. Lemon had a lump. Am I right or wrong? You're right. Oh, this is why. It's so good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. The Yetala Yanagar Migan Yimes La Chal Baganzavka Zaflai Mishamat Mangus Vayabit Kotar Misat and Manam Namimes La Chona and the Zara Lam Hulum left to Toro Gro Dakmo Asrolatas Rasa Desat Gru Skikat Al Raskomono Ganzavuna Miagan and the Divakala Migan Agar Lamana. It shall he went Mutunoru Kona Zagarbet, the Zainora Chut life, Zirag Mordle Mallet, but I'm Kabarno. Unless the Saukala Kalilach was. Nazim Ras Savino Rachu, Manum take care either Gachu. The Hulum Larasuno, Hulum so Ruchano, Selezi Manaman and Maesta was some land to cut low that can Abro 
ሊዮን ይችላል ወይንም ራይድሊ ሰጥ ይችላል ከዛ በኋላ ግን ሁሉም የራሱ ላይፍ ነው የሚኖረው ሰዓትም የለው ላስታውስ ሁሉ ይችላልና ዲፕረስ ውስጥ ከመግባት ያለውነ ህይወት እንትን ውስጥ ከመግባት እዛው አገራችን ላይ ውጤታማ ብንሆን ማለት ነው የተሻለ ህይወት ያለን አገራችን ላይ ግን እዛ አገር ቤት ምን ኖረው ገቢያችን ጥሩ ካልሆነና ወደዚህ መምጣት ለሚፈልግ ሰው በጣም ምርጥ ምርጥ ነው የምትለወጥበት ሀገር ነው ብዙ ቻንሶች አሉበት ብዙ ኦፖርቹኒቲዎች አሉበት ሀገር ነው በትምርትም በሰራም በምንም እስከሰራ ድረስ በጣም ትለወጣለህ አሜሪካ ውስጥ ኦፖርቹኒቲውን ያገኘ ሰው ወደዚህ ቢመጣ እና ያለውን ነገር ግን አንደርስታንድ አድርጎ በአንድ ጊዜ ነገሮቹን ሁሉ ይሳኩልኛል ብለን አስበን ሳይሆን ቀስ በቀስ ከትንሽ ስራ ጀምረን ትምርትም እየተማረን ቢሆን ሁለትም ሰው ስራም እየሰራን ከሰዎች ጋር እየኖር ሼር አድርገን ገንዘብ ራሳችንን ምንለውጥ አይነት ሰዎች ከሆነን በጣም ምርጥ ሀገር ነው ለመለወጥም ቀላል የሆነ ሀገር ነው ብየነው ምመክረው አሚና ብየነው ምመክረው ተስማሚ ያለሽ በዚህ Do you agree what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. Everything that he said. Really? What did I say? <laughs> I don't know. Well, you don't know, but still you agree. Yeah, 100%. That's good, yeah. Everything that he said. And my mom said something that I thought was actually really good. She said that if you are not a hard working person in your country, then she said it's probably not a good idea to come to the yeah, US. That's what I was saying. The people sometimes they have a lot of money mm-hmm. in their own country. Yeah. And they want to come to United States mm-hmm. when they see everything is different. Yeah. So they struggle a lot. Most of the time they're not successful. Yeah. And they ended up go back to their own country. Yeah. yeah. There are some diaspora people that come here and lose their mind literally. I know some Sudanese people that happen to, so Yeah, I've seen a lot of just because too. yeah, which is like crazy, but it's just it, I think it's just because they get so caught up in America, America and instead of just leaving, like it's not working out, just go back home. Yeah. Instead of that, they just want to stay here. And there's there's this circle, right? There's this circle that happens where you're making probably enough money to pay your bills, but you want to help your family back home too. So you send money to your family and then you go to work and you try to work more to make more money to send back home to your family yeah. and it just like continues like that yeah. on and on yeah. and on to the point where some people they just like can't take that what do you think the people living here in the USA mm-hmm. American people about the foreigners helping their own family they don't understand that Americans don't understand the concept of you sending money back to help your yeah. grown family yeah. that's what they're like say. why are you sending money they're grown why are you helping them yeah they're adults yeah they're why growing. can't they work they don't understand that at all Mm-mm. especially if you want to marry somebody an american Bad. you better be careful you better be careful you're gonna have a lot of arguments yeah. why are you sending your that much money to your family oh my god 90 day fiance every single couple struggles with that yeah every <laughs> single couple fighting about that about that yeah. yeah in the reverse as well the people the families that are living these countries when their kid whoever comes to the united states the families as well have this huge misconception that their family members in the US are all rich and they <laughs> yeah. always want money and more money and more money and you get like cousin your cousin's nieces best friends daughter sister asking for money you're like i can't you guys <laughs> i can't yeah. do all this yeah. You know, yeah, so they because they think that you're in the US, the land of the the gold and the rich. So they think you're living your life like they think you have so much money, but Yeah, that is a mis- you know, misconception. Very yeah. big misconception yeah. from people, the families back home. That's not to say that you can't come here and be successful as a diaspora because there is a lot of people they are successful too. They have like a lot of opportunity here, mm. of course. Yeah, you can go If to you school. are like a strong Yeah, you have to naturally truly be that motivated gold driven person you yeah. cannot like if you're naturally kind of lazy you know that is not it's gonna not work. gonna work in the u.s yeah. it really isn't it's not easy like that you need to because no, 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 no. you're gonna have to work twice as hard because you're coming here most of the time you gotta learn the language learn the culture you got to learn a lot of things about just how things work in the u.s you know how to get a house how to get a car how to get all of that transportation there's a lot of things that you got to learn and you're competing with people people that were born and raised here so yeah. you know you're working twice even triple as hard yeah. when it come to USA you have a sponsor you know that sponsor right yeah. for 10 years yeah, so yeah. i'm wondering why they are 
fighting with their sponsors. They don't live peacefully. They always like ended up fighting in the Ethiopian <laughs> community most of the time. And I've seen a lot. Have you ever heard that? I don't know. Like I haven't heard of that specifically, but they think they like, like I did a favor for you. I did a favor so for they you. expect things from the person. Yeah, right? they expect it. Yeah. yeah. And also we have no the same mindset. Mm -hmm. If you live in for a long time here and someone came to, you know, other country, mm -hmm. we don't have the same mentality. When I came here, I don't know the system, how it's worked. Yeah, so for sponsors too, a lot of people want to sign up to be a sponsor so fast, but then don't really understand what that means. Like he said, you're responsible for the person for 10 years. Doesn't mean like you had to pay for everything. It means if the person ever needed government assistance for whatever, then you would have to pay the government back. That's what that means. But as a sponsor, you're basically teaching somebody everything there is to know, which is not easy. So a lot of sponsors get impatient. The person comes here, now the person they want to go to school and they, they, they want to be ride, able to travel. To get yeah. Job. How can I get them a car? Okay, we need to get them a driver's license first. Okay, we, that means we need to teach them how to drive here in the US first. Yeah. Think about it. Everything that you do living here in the US, the sponsor has to teach that person Every how to do that. Thing, yeah. Every single thing, as well as English, if they don't already speak English, they got to learn English too. I think some sponsors just get overwhelmed yeah. and they feel like, especially if they have kids, they feel like you're just another kid, yeah. <laughs> like you're of a course, burden, yeah. you know? <laughs> And also, the people came to the other country, they don't understand how they are struggled. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was one of them, you know? Yeah. I mean, I was understandable because I had, you know, the information even when I was in Ethiopia, all of those stuff. So when I came here, and a lot of people even told me, don't stay with your sponsor. Just get a job yeah, so fast. Yeah. yeah, find your own apartment with a roommate and just be uh, independent, independent without yeah. like fighting. And for a lot of diaspora, or a two, to be honest, your first apartment is probably going to be with roommates. Like Elias said, just try to get in an apartment as soon as possible. As soon as possible. Just try yeah. to be independent. It's just not good. It just doesn't work like that in general. It's yeah, don't, to... don't, don't ever wait until your sponsors <laughs> kick you out. <laughs> right? You will hate them forever. Yeah, and that happens a lot. Yeah, I that happens you, a lot. And I've mean. seen a lot. Yeah. They just kicked you out the house. <laughs> yeah. When they came back from work, you sitting and chilling, you know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Watching the TV and it, and I was like, damn, yeah. I'm working until my ass off and you chilling here. They always like get mad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Don't wait until they kicked you out. They have to get your own apartment. I know people that are sponsored. They've told me before how they feel. Really? Like you said, that's so hilarious. It's so true. Like after they freaking work 10 hours and came back, and went to school and yeah. then they have kids and their kids are yelling and buzzing. They come back and you sit. Sitting the laying couch. on the couch watching like, TV. TV chilling. <laughs> I don't want to see you sitting here when I came back from work tomorrow, okay? Yeah, that's it makes cool. sense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it does, but sometimes you can't always find a job. You so can, the sponsor yeah. needs to be patient. Abzan young is a agarbet yemi motu sa watch a ziba, was one sar no sponsor as for the gun. Agarbet with a USA eleven that zibzu is a tala look as one sort of chachogar. My smamu beta got a mutual. This one and send the mataramo mock and the bun nagoro, out and mamta had leben, when lamok matara leben and then the gize. Kaula tum to fatal sponsor or chach. Line or Richard Luke on Mulu, Sara, Willow Meto, Way to Vertebate, or the Macho Meto, Mavsal and the Bacho, Wayne Buzunagoch Madragal, the Bacho, Nagan, Betus, Uchavalentas of the Feminum Nagar San Sara, Television Captain, yet as an anonymous Abacacho, but I'm a Minada Mugnatum, Ulum sold off to Duck Monomet of Plas Dugmo, last Saramate had a sponsor, Yohon Hun so watch, Manada de Labenum, Saraskanag, and Rasanda Masarat had the Bacho Nagoroch, Miskina Grundras Mata Bake Labenum, and then the Mazratum Kalab, Mazrat had. لبن مصارات هاد لبن نجاروش مالك نو سانو تشن ما تبقى لبن كوك مارا جراسو من تشل كونا زين بلنا لارا دس راس كنا جاي ندرس نسونم لما سدس تندايك فاتشوم لراس هاتشنم سنر مالك نو كتشك من بن الزواور عند النجاروش ناق بثالد زيادلو اتموسفير ستراس وسلامي كت بزاله دموان دس هوج أمر المالك نو ليلا انتونست مقاس سلام ما يفلقو يالو تنجاروش لما سرام مكر ما باكيو مادرك أو تشن ما تبقى كوك مادرك أتليست انقلال مصارات هاي كتاتشوم Kurang lebih mana? Sarah Sarah ada lemana mina?
ተከለለ ያ ማድረግ አለባችሁ ማለት ነውና ወጣው ጣብላችሁም ሰውም ለመገናኘት መሞከር ግን ማድረግ ያለባችሁን ነገር ልንገራች ስራ እንዳገኛችሁ ሮሜት መፈለግና ያለባችሁ የራሳችሁን አፓርትመንት ማግኘት አለባችሁ ወዲያውን መውጣት ነው ያለባችሁ ምክንያቱም ብዙ ጊዜ ትንሽ አጠራቀመ በነጻ ነው ሬዚ የሆነሽ ነገር አድርጌ እንደዛ ምናም ብላችሁ ምታስቡ ከሆነ ነው 90% አይሰራ ምን ይካገኛችሁ ሰዎች ወይንም ኤክስፒሪንስ ካደረኩትኝ ነው ምነግራችሁና አይሰራም ብዙ ጊዜ ማለት ነው ብዙ በቆያችሁ ሰዓት ከስፖንሰሮቻችሁ ጋር የመጋጨት እንትኖች ይኖራሉ አንድ አንድ ነገሮች አለ መስማማቶች ስለሚኖሩ እስከ ወዳኛው ነው ማትነጋገሩት ብዙ ሰዎች ነው አይቻለሁኝ ከስፖንሰሮቻቸው ጋር ማይነጋገሩ ማለት ነው በእንደዚህ አይነት ኬዞች ቀጥታ ብስራ እንዳገኛችሁ ለብቻችሁ ነው መኖር ያለባችሁ ተዛም በኋላ መሄዳችሁ ቤት ሰሞን ይችላልላችሁ ማለት ነው ያለ ምንም ጸብ ያለ ምንም መቀያየም እዚህ ሀገር እስካላችሁ ድረስ አብራችሁ ትጣያየቃላችሁ ማለት ነው ያ እኔ ነው ማለት መፈልገው አሚና አንቺስ ምን ነው ዝማል ምን ነው ዝማል ዝማል Right. Also I wanted to say though like whatever however you do come over from your country to the US whatever like doesn't matter how but I will say this don't do it illegally you're signing up for a lifetime of always being in fear of being discovered and depression because you can't like actively go out and do things it's just not worth it there are for people watching that don't know there are like groups of people that you can pay them and they will like track fake you basically from your country to the US illegally don't do that it's not worth it for some people it's as worth it how because they're working you know with the cash right that's what i'm like saying that. you're oh, you're going to be working they will struggle i know they will struggle is because hidden you're going to yeah. have to find somebody first of all that is going to take the risk to hire, hire you, you yeah. and they can't do anything on paper so they're going to be you have to trust them that they're going to give you your cash if they say no yeah. no that's it you have yeah. no any right you know to ask yeah you them. can't do anything about it because yeah. you're not even legal i know people growing up that were illegal here that they grew up they didn't have like the best life but you know they did live here yeah. for a long time but i just wouldn't recommend it there's definitely like the united states is glamorized way too much it is not worth it always <laughs> sometimes it's actually better to stay where you're from i don't even care how people choose to get here do what you got to do but do it legally. legally that's my point because it'll be easier for you if you're illegal that's going to be I so know, yeah. hard for the people living in Sudan or Ethiopia coming over to the United States try to find you know your community your people because they're going to be the ones that are going to help you the most but also at the same time don't only hang out with them because that's going to hold you back like i said before there are some people here in the US for 10 years they can't speak english properly yeah. because Because they stay. constantly stay with Arabic speakers and they only go to the Arabic stores and they only talk to the yeah. people of the same yeah. country that they're. So until this day, this woman that I know, she still cannot even speak English. And that is not going to help you. That's not your purpose of coming yeah. here. You don't come here and then just stay with your own people. You do need to mix a little bit for your own benefit. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like it, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave the comment down below we'll see, see you the you next, next video, video. bye, bye.